All right, here we go. I'm going to take my green marker. You know what? I don't even know if I've ever used this blue marker all year. I'm going to use the blue one right now. Here we have uh, Simlify. Simlify. Simplify. Mr. Mack, you need a P in there. Use exponent laws to simplify. Six laws in action. Use your laws. Figure it out. The first question, I even gave you the hint down here that says L4, <clears throat> which means it utilizes the fourth law. So the product of two numbers to an exponent can be rewritten with that exponent. I don't know why I used a highlighter there. Given to both parts. So this 3 can be given to the 4 and, the, and to the 7, meaning it can be rewritten as 4 to the 3 times 7 to the 3. So the first thing I want you to write down is that. And once you have that, 4 to the 3 is 4 times 4, which is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Times 7 times 7 is 49 times 7. 49 times 7, well, 50 times 7 is 350. Less 7 should be 343. Is that right? And 64 times 343, 64 times 343 is 21,953. Is that right? 952. Is that the correct answer? Okay. But what you need to get on your test, if you were to use it, is I need to see this answer, this answer, and then the standard form. And if you want, this would be helpful because I know you're utilizing that law properly. Okay. So if you didn't have that for work, make sure you copy it down. The second question is actually utilizing law one. The product of two powers that have the same base can be rewritten as the base with the sum of the exponents, which means as power, we have 5 to the 5. And 5 to the 5, I think it's 35, 25, isn't it? 5 to the exponent of 5 is 31, 25. So in standard form, 31, 25. So the expectation will be Show me this step. Show me that you're adding the exponents together. Show me this power, and then simplify it using your calculator. Okay, that's how you'll do it on your test. Next question. Law 6. Any base to the exponent of 0 has a standard form of 1. Since the negative 2 is in brackets, it's not the opposite of 2 to the 0, but it's rather negative 2 to the exponent of 0, which has a standard form of 1, not negative 1. Plus, any exponent... Any power to the exponent of 1 has the base as its standard form value, which means negative 3 to the 1 will be negative 3. The sum of those two using your integer rules from grade 7 uh, gives you negative 2 in standard form. Question 5 says negative 2, or sorry, 2 divided by 5. Remember, it could have said this. It's the same question. I just want to make sure you do know that both of those forms mean the same thing, huh? And when you have that, this 3 can be reallocated there, or this 3 can be reallocated there. So 2 cubed over 5 cubed, which is 8 divided by 125. Grab your calculator. 8 divided by 125 is, is 0 0.064. So again, expectation. If you want to show these arrows, great or like this if it's in that form. Show it as a simplified expression as with powers. Show it in simplified standard form and then use division to solve that into uh, a total simplification. Question number five gives you law three, which is a power to set to an exponent. Keeping in mind that three squared, three squared cubed would be three squared times three squared times three squared which if we actually think of that using exponent law 1, would be 3 to the exponent of 2 plus 2 plus 2, right? which would be 3 to the 6. But the law says when you have a power to an exponent, multiply the exponents to give you a simplification of 3 to the exponent of 6. So once you use your calculator, power of base of 3, exponent of 6 is 729. So for this one, show me that you know that you are supposed to multiply your exponents, simplify the power, write it in standard form. And your last question gives you just the division, which is law 2. The root law states keep the base when you're dividing two bases that have this, the same base but different exponents or exponents. Subtract your exponents. The answer will be 10 squared. Hey, I don't even need to put a calculator for that one. 10 times 10 
is 100.